So what's going on guys, it's JM, it's Beatboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel before you click on 20 of my videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions and what I'm saying in any of my videos, like always, it's appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub to on my channel. So, Eddie Hearn, the promoter of Unified Heavyweight Champion of the World, Anthony Joshua, says that in his mind and for future plans going forward with Anthony Joshua, that the Vladimir Klitschko rematch is the fight that's going to happen next. He thinks that fight is 100% going to happen unless Vladimir Klitschko turns around and says he doesn't want the fight, but he doesn't really see that happening. So they're planning for this rematch. They're looking at venues. They're getting offers from other countries like Nigeria and Dubai and China. He's looking at Cardiff for a potential date in the UK. And it's interesting to see what's going to go on here. To quote Eddie Hearn, he says... We're looking at all the potential sites for this rematch. It's not really a case of them having to let us know by a certain date for us. It's happening. Until Klitschko turns around and says, no, I'm retiring, we're full steam ahead. At the moment, all I can tell you is that it's happening because we haven't heard otherwise. There, there are a number of offers we've had coming from other sites. It means the money's so big, I can't see him not taking it. Even away from the money, I think he wants it. I think he looks back and he thinks he had Josh in the 5th or 6th. A lot of people gave him a lot of props for it, so why not? So Eddie Hearn saying that in his mind, he thinks Vladimir Klitschko is going to take this fight. He says he also has a meeting with Bert Bonte this week. And they're going to talk about the fight and going to sit down and talk. But Eddie Hearn, I think, is in regular contact with Bert Bonte, who is the manager of Vladimir Klitschko. And I think Eddie Hearn knows more than he's telling us. I think Eddie Hearn knows this fight's going to happen. I think he's been told by Klitschko's people that Klitschko is going to accept this fight, that he is going to activate this rematch clause. And it's very interesting because at the end of the day, it's not about the money for Vladimir Klitschko because Vladimir Klitschko is minted. Vladimir Klitschko has got a lot of money. He was the heavyweight champion for 11 years and he has been the A-side for 11 years. Money's not a problem for Vladimir Klitschko. It's the fact that he nearly had Anthony Joshua in that second fight. He nearly regained his heavyweight title. He was only a punch or two away from winning back his titles. But he didn't pull the trigger. He was just too cautious because he knew Anthony Joshua could have him on the deck. So he was just way too cautious and he managed Anthony Joshua to get his second wind. He allowed Joshua to get his second wind and to take him out in the 11th round. But Vladimir Klitschko, for the first time in his career, really showed a heart. Because in the past, when we've seen him knocked down or get knocked out in a fight, he looked very panicked. He looks like he don't know what to do. But against Joshua, he got up and carried on fighting and nearly got Anthony Joshua out there himself. He made this fight a heavyweight classic against Anthony Joshua. One of the best heavyweight fights in the past 20, 25 years. So I think he's going to take this fight just for the pride and just for his legacy set because if he manages to defeat Anthony Joshua, he will tie Joe Lewis for the most heavyweight title wins. So it'll be interesting to see what Vladimir Klitschko does. But obviously we've got the situation with the IBF because Anthony Joshua holds the IBF title but he also has a mandatory in Kubat Pulev and the IBF have to make a decision whenever to give Anthony Joshua a special exemption or to say no you've got to fight Kubat Pulev and if you don't we're going to strip you. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens there. Kubat Pulev's people are pressing for the fight. The Sowlands are saying that you know what we want this fight and we're not going to step aside. And also the WBA, well, the guy who manages Lewis Ortiz, who is the manager for the WBA title, is saying that he hasn't heard anything about a special exemption from the WBA. Eddie Hearn says that he already has an exemption from the WBA, but Lewis Ortiz, his manager, is saying that he hasn't heard anything about that and that he spoke to Gilberto Mendoza on the phone, who is the president of the WBA, and he hasn't really heard anything about it either. So that's interesting as well. Like the whole belt situation could be messy in the next couple of weeks to see what happens. I think the main problem is the IBF, even though Lewis Ortiz, his manager, is coming out and saying this. But the IBF, in my opinion, is the big problem. 
But I see this exemption happening. I just do because Anthony Joshua brings a lot of money. He is a cash cow. And I see him getting this special exemption. It might not be fair because we've seen it recently with Julius and Dongo, who is the IBF and WBA um, super lightweight champion. And the IBF are saying if he fights Terence Crawford in an undisputed title fight, they're going to strip him. So it's a bit unfair if Anthony Joshua gets a special exemption and Julius Ndongo is stripped. But at the end of the day, Anthony Joshua is a cash cow and cash cows do tend to get special privileges in the sport of boxing. We've seen it in the past with Canelo Alvarez getting special luxuries other fighters don't get. But yeah, what do you guys think of this? Do you think Anthony Joshua should be facing Vladimir Klitschko again? Do you think that fight is done and dusted? Do you think Anthony Joshua should just go on and fight somebody else? But at the end of the day, if Vladimir Klitschko says he wants to fight, then the fight's happening. So there's not much anyone can really do about it. So yeah, comment below in the comment section your opinions. It's JM, it's Feetboxing.